All right, what's up YouTube? It's Mark and Danny, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today we've got a gear review for you, and on top of that, we're announcing our giveaway, our quarterly giveaway, and we're incredibly late with announcing this. We've been super busy, uh, just doing a lot of hunting and producing content for you guys, so we're just uh, a little behind schedule. Uh, but because of that, this one's gonna be a little bit sped up, uh, so we apologize for that, but it's gonna be a good giveaway, so let's get right into it. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. All right, so the thing that we're gonna be reviewing today is these waders right here. These are the Bass Dash breathable uh, stocking footed waders. They have my boots attached to them right now. He's got quite a few miles on them. These aren't exactly the... There we are, stocking footed. Uh, I've been using these for like two and a half years now and that includes working in the STAs. So work and play. Uh, and they finally, after two and a half seasons, uh, sprung a leak. And the leak, honestly, was just right in the crotch. And it's a really minor leak. Um, these things are inexpensive. Uh, and they've honestly lasted longer than a lot of waders that I've had in the past. And the reason that I originally bought these is actually because uh, I was looking for some breathable waders that were camo. Because it seems like all the breathable waders are sort of made for trout fishermen. And they're always like a like one color. You know? They're like, yeah, or like this or something and uh and these are the only ones i could find that were camo so i said you know screw it i'm gonna give them a try um and i started using them i really liked them and then uh the company bass dash actually saw that i tagged them on an instagram post and they asked me if they could use my picture on their amazon uh page and so if you look up these waders you'll actually find me holding a couple ducks wearing those waders and that sort of started the conversation and that's why we got to this point where we actually want to give some away to you guys. Um, so, uh, you've never used them, right? Nope, nope. This so, my first time. Oh, and on top of that, we got some new ones. So, we have, these are yours. No, mm -hmm. these are mine, these are yours. Uh, so open that up and, and give them your first impressions. The stocking foot, L, large. I'll go ahead and see what these what these feel like. So do you know what the advantages are of, of stocking footed waders over boot boot? Well what's really nice about the stocking footed ones is that they're lighter for one, obviously, and then you get to choose the boot that you would like. My experience and, has been they've been a lot more comfortable as yeah. well. And yeah, because uh, you can pick your boot that you want. Yeah. So you get a more comfortable feel for it. Um, also the waders that I've owned in the past they tend to leak right where the boot seam is. Um, so I guess that's something that you'll get away with, get away from with these guys. So these actually come with a pretty interesting little bag. Decoy bag, I'm gonna stick my, my uh, mojo in there. <laughs> Very lightweight, right off the bat. I haven't put these on, obviously I just opened them. But it looks like they have a neoprene, neoprene foot, little booty. They have the little pocket in the front here with a zipper. That's nice. I and like, the, these are waterproof too. I, well, I really like that water zipper resistant. There. Yeah, if you submerge these zippers, they're definitely not going to hold water out like you would yeah. like a uh, Ziploc, but definitely rainproof and stuff like that. I like that you have a zipper because I've run into situations where I'm in, I'm, I'm duck hunting and I have this part open in the front. You go to bend over, boom, there goes your shells. Yeah, or it fills up with water. Yeah, or you, so. you drop something. Um, there's also a dry pouch. If yeah, around right the inside. If you flip this open, there's a dry pouch right there. You can keep your wallet there, ID and, or yeah. your duck stamp in here because you gotta carry that. With you. Or your shells so they don't get wet. So yeah. lots of options. The pockets are really big. 
looks like they don't really overlap. You have a patch right here for in the event that you have a leak, you can patch it up. It comes with the glue as well. That's very nice. So yeah, this is uh, what the new ones look like. And it has this little bungee cord here so you can tighten around you. And it comes with a belt much like other ones. Yeah, and it's so. it's like an elastic belt. So again, it like if, it, if you have waders that are a bit too big for you, it'll pull them in a little tighter to you so they're not like super baggy. You also have these little accessory loops right here in the front so that you can hang um, either calls or whatever it is that you want to hang from there. You have this, that's actually really nice. Very convenient. I actually use those to hang them up when I'm not using them. Yeah. I just you can hang, hang the waders those. themselves. Yeah. Or you can uh, hang your duck call or you know a radio or whatever you want to hang from that. I like it. Can't wait to put these on. So one of the really nice things about these waders is that uh, because they're breathable, here in Florida, uh, if you've ever used neoprene waders, uh, a lot of times those are the only options you have because it's those hot. are the camo ones. But it is so hot in Florida. Yeah. These things are awesome. Pretty much any part of your body that's not submerged is going to be breathable. So you have you know air moving in and out of them. And you're not getting super sweaty like you do with some of those other waders. That's the reason I really like them. So these right here uh, is actually their newest model, which didn't exist when I bought them. Uh, and these are the boot footed ones. So this, everything about these is exactly the same, except you get a boot on the bottom, which just makes it a little easier to put them on and take them off. Um, personally, I really like the stocking footed ones. They tend to be more comfortable. They tend to last a little bit longer. Um, but you know, there's nothing as easy as putting on your waders uh, with a with a boot foot, especially if you're hunting like the STAs and stuff, where you got to rush, rush to get out in the water and, and yeah. get back to the check station. <laughs> Putting on those stocking footed waders, sometimes like everybody's just waiting on me to get finished. So uh, for that, these boot footed waders might be a better choice. These are really nice. They actually have um, some really nice grip on the bottom. That's something that I found with some of the other boots that they don't have any kind of grip. So if you're walking over any kind of um, logs or um, rocks or anything, they just slide. These, this is actually a really nice print. So if you're actually in the woods and you're not hunting uh, like a marsh and you're you hunting like in between, ducks, yeah, yeah, if you're shooting wood ducks and you're going from different holes in that marsh or those woods, then it's really nice to have a good boot on your foot. And these look oh. like they're. Very, I just wanted to feel the inside of these. So there is a little bit of insulation. It's not a lot. So yeah. there's there's neoprene all the way up to the top of the boot. Um, and But it's not really thick. It's maybe like three millimeters or something. Yeah. So that's going to give you a little bit of padding and a little bit of insulation, but it's not going to be overkill. So again, you know, for early season up north or all of season in Florida, uh, you know, these, these waders are going to be perfect for that. Um, yeah. I like it. I like them. Yeah, I'm excited I got some new ones. Time to try them on. I'm ready to kill some ducks. All right, so that covers the review side of this video, so let's talk about the giveaway. As we mentioned, we do quarterly giveaways, but we've been kind of slacking and we apologize. But uh, duck season's right around the corner. We've been getting ready, clearly. Look at this badass boat blind that Danny's been making. Um, and we want you guys to get ready as well, so we're gonna help you out just a little bit with that. We're giving away some waders, some decoys, and some decoys, tangle-free decoys. These are some really high-quality decoys. Um, it's either gonna be some coots or some ringers, something that's common here in Florida. It kind of depends on what's available at the time, uh, and we can kind of figure that out with whoever ends up winning. Um, yep. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty, pretty cool giveaway. And we're gonna choose the winner in like three weeks because yep. because we're kind of late. So. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you know when we announce that winner. Uh, and let's go over the rules for the giveaway. So. The rules are actually down in the description. Go ahead and click that link. It's gonna take you to the viral sweeps and everything you gotta do is right there. Don't forget to do all the extra stuff that you can get so that you can get extra points for this giveaway. A lot of people miss that in our past giveaways. Do all those things and you're gonna get all kinds of extra points. I think you can get up to like 40 extra points. And if you wanna get even more points think about joining our patreon page you can click this link right up here and there you can make a small monthly donation that helps out the channel but it gets you a ton of extra points like a ton a uh, bunch of cool stuff we send some free merch like this sweet t-shirt um oh look at that 
um, and yeah, a bunch of other stuff. So check out the Patreon page. It says everything that you get uh, if you join that. And with that, good luck to uh, you guys. I hope you all win. Yeah, <laughs> all of you. We're gonna give away hundreds. No, we can't do that. No. Damn, I wish we could. That would be nice. Anyway, uh, hopefully we'll have some duck hunting content coming your way soon. And uh, check out this video of a bunch of ducks that I slayed last season. Send it. Peace.